The goal here is to install the RedSync plugin. The whole idea of the RedSync plugin is to be able to use both a disassembler and the compiler, as well as a debugger and synchronize them all together. So you're going to be able to use the power of WinDBG, all the commands, and at the same time, you'll be able to rename functions into Ghidra or IDA, rename the variables, make it very nice to read, and still use both the disassembler and WinDBG at the same time and synchronize them together. Let's get started. So in order to use RedSync, you need to load a plugin both in the decompiler and in the, the debugger. To do so in the actual Ghidra or IDA disassembler, you're gonna use the Alt-S keys. One thing about Ghidra is that you need to actually load all the DLLs you wanna be able to synchronize with in the same code brother window. Another thing about RedSync is that the highlighting of the actual decompiler window line doesn't work perfectly on Ghidra, but it does work great on IDA Pro. So something to take into account. In order to install RedSync, it was actually done already by the actual scripts. We downloaded the sources and we built the actual plugin for Ghidra automatically. One thing that is remaining to do is to actually import the Ghidra extension into Ghidra itself. We'll do that in the minute. You have to make sure the plugin version actually matches the Ghidra version, which is kind of why we build it automatically during installation to make sure it's the right version. This is the kind of thing you end up having. On the left side, you can see WinBag. We see that we have loaded the sync.dll plugin and then we use the bang sync command in order to synchronize with the Ghidra plugin. We can see that we are currently just on the actual call nt write file function. On the right side, we can see Ghidra. We can see at the bottom that the Ghidra RedSync plugin is actually loaded as well. It found the actual configuration file into the hello underscore word dot rep folder and that the kernel based DLL file is currently open. You can also see that it's been synchronized with the WinDBG dialect. And because on the left, we can see it's on the call NT write file. We can also see that on the right into Gitra itself on the decompiled code. We are actually on the NT write file call which is highlighted in yellow. So one thing that is really annoying at first with RedSync is, is the way the configuration files work. It can be quite painful at first, but it's actually worth doing it once because then it's very powerful. The idea is you have to define the host and the ports of the other half. So for WinDBG, you have to tell it where Ghidra or IDA can be reached. And for Ghidra or IDA, you have to tell them where to reach the debugger, in this case, WinDBG. For the WinDBG extension, it only looks for the actual configuration file into the user directory. We can see it defined the host and ports to connect to. For the actual disassembler and decompiler, both for Ghidra and IDA, the extension, the RedSync extension will actually look first into the project path and then into the actual user directory. The extension only takes into account the first configuration file it finds. So for Ghidra, the easiest method is to actually define a .sync configuration file into the .red directory. We can see one specificity here is that we define an alias. And the reason is because NT kernel MP, the actual name defined in WinDBG, but the actual file itself is named NTOS kernel. So it allows RedSync to know that there is a match between the debugger and the disassembler. Okay, so let's install RedSync and let's configure it. RedSync extension for WinDBG has been installed already. The one for Ghidra is in xghidra dist. If you sort them by date, you'll see that one of them is the latest version that has been built automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to start Ghidra by double clicking on Ghidra run. To install RedSync, you can follow instructions on this GitHub page into Ghidra extension. You'll see how to build the extension we've done already and how to install it. But basically the whole point is to go into File, Install Extensions, and then click on the Add extension. So we're doing to RedSync as Ghidra dist and install the the highest version. You see it's ticked here. It's going to ask us to restart Ghidra.
We restart Gidra. Now, when the first time we open an actual Code Brother window, it's going to actually ask us to configure the extension. We just say yes to that. Then we click the Red Sync plugin. I click OK. So as you can see, there is an additional window which is related to Red Sync. The best you can do is to actually drag and drop the Red Sync plugin tab into the actual X code brother like this. And you will see it here now, from now on. You shouldn't have to do that again. So Red Sync is installed into Gidra now. We want to be able to debug and see Red Sync working in Gidra for all the DLLs. So we drag and drop the additional DLL into the same code brother. You can see they are listed here. Now we're going to start WinDBG and debug the actual target VM. So we're going to start our batch file. So we're just going to show you on the right, we have Gidra. And on the left, we have WinDBG. WinDBG is connected. So we break. We see we are on DBG breakpoint with status. So in order to load red sync into WinDBG, we just do load sync dot DLL. And now we can execute commands like bang sync. For this to work, it has to be loaded into Gidra. If we try right now, it's not going to work because the Gidra plugin is not loaded. We see the status is idle. Also, even if I start it here and then start again, we can see it's loaded. However, we haven't defined any configuration file at the moment. So when it's trying to synchronize the actual NT kernel mp.exe, it's not synchronized with NTOS kernel.exe because there isn't a match between the names. So we disable synchronization and we have to restart Ghidra after configuring, after adding the configuration files. So the, the actual project is hello world.rep. We provide two config files. One in, is to save into the user folder and the other one into the Ghidra project. So let's start with the IE user one. So we go into C users, IE user and paste that sync config file, the one from tools IE user. There is one other configuration file into the folder.rep folder, which we can see define the actual alias. So this one needs to be copied into the .rep folder corresponding to the project you're debugging. Okay, so now we're ready to restart Kedra. We have loaded our three batteries into the same code brother. Now we can execute the sync command, but we need first to enable the red sync plugin into Ghidra. So we do Alt S. This changed to listening. Here we can see that it actually loaded the configuration file from our project file. So there is an alias between NTOS kernel and NT kernel MP. So now if we synchronize, we see that it actually switched to the actual code. So here we are on to dbg breakpoint with status. 
and we can see it automatically change on the Ghidra window to this actual function. And if we set a breakpoint onto nt, nt read file, and then continue and wait until it hits. Okay, so we hit the nt read file function and we can see that automatically into Ghidra it's actually switching to this function. And we can even step into WinDBG and it will step automatically into Ghidra. So let's do that. As you can see on the right, it's stepping into the function. So here, for instance, I'm going to set a breakpoint on this ob reference object by handle call. I'm going to go on Ghidra and use Alt F3. You can see on the left that automatically it actually sets a breakpoint on the right address. If we continue execution, we can see that we actually reached this call object reference object by handle. So we provide two scripts. The first one is a batch script, which allows us to start WinDBG. And this batch script will actually load a bunch of commands at startup. The thing we can automate are things like starting red sync, synchronizing with the actual disassembler, in our case, Ghidra, reload symbols, and set breakpoints. So we don't have to set them manually each time we restart our debugging session. Now that we have seen how to configure red sync for WinDBG and Ghidra, we're going to see how to automate doing it on the WinDBG side. If we open these two files, we see that the bat is the one we execute to start WinDBG. And actually, there is a way to execute an external CMD file that contains WinDBG commands. So we uncommand that one and we can command the other one to execute commands when we start WinDBG with that script. This list the command that we want to execute. We can see we're going to load red sync in WinDBG. Then we're going to synchronize with Ghidra. Then we're going to reload symbols for specific modules. Here, I'm going to uncomment setting a breakpoint on NT read file as an example. And then I'm going to list the breakpoints to make sure everything is sane and then continue execution with Go. On Ghidra, we can see that we have loaded all the modules into the same code brother. On top of that, we're going to start the Red Sync plugin using Alt F. It's now listening. The configuration file has been loaded, so we're ready. So now we start the bat script that's going to execute our dbg prep commands. It's connecting to the target. Now we can break. And when we break, it's going to automatically execute the commands. So we can see it loaded red sync, then it synchronized with Ghidra. And now we see automatically it breaked on the actual NT read file. And we can see in Ghidra, we're already synchronized. Okay, we have a good synchronization between our debugger and our decompiler disassembler. That's good for now.